Can a mother legally relinquish her rights to a child before its birth? A thought-provoking question indeed, especially when it comes to surrogacy. This practice, wherein a woman agrees to carry and give birth to a child for another person or couple, is often seen as a modern miracle. There are two types of surrogacy, traditional, where the surrogate uses her own egg, and gestational, where the egg comes from another woman. Yet, as miraculous as it may be, surrogacy isn't without potential legal complications. How, for instance, do we navigate the rights of the surrogate mother, the biological parents, and most importantly, the child? These questions give rise to a complex legal maze that can turn surrogacy into a potential minefield. So, as we delve into this intriguing topic, we mustn't lose sight of the human element. The question remains, however, should a surrogacy contract be legally enforceable? Picture this, a woman agrees to be a surrogate for a couple, but halfway through the pregnancy, she decides to keep the baby. What happens then? Imagine the legal maze that could ensue. Let's dive into the intricate world of surrogacy laws and the dilemmas they pose. To illustrate this, we can look at two landmark cases, Baby M and Johnson v. Calvert. In the Baby M case, the surrogate mother refused to give up the baby after birth sparking a legal battle that highlighted the potential pitfalls of surrogacy agreements. The court eventually ruled that the surrogacy contract was invalid, and the surrogate mother was awarded custody, setting a precedent that surrogacy contracts may not always be enforceable. On the other hand, the Johnson v. Calvert case took a different turn. Here, the court ruled in favor of the intended parents, asserting that they were the legal parents because they intended to bring the child into the world and raise it as their own. These cases underscore the legal complexities in determining parenthood in surrogacy agreements, particularly when things go awry. They also highlight the challenge of balancing the rights and intentions of all parties involved, the surrogate, the intended parents, and most importantly, the child. So, as we can see, surrogacy can quickly become a legal quagmire. Now let's consider another scenario. What if a surrogate refuses to surrender the child after birth despite a pre-existing agreement, should the law enforce the contract? This brings us to the heart of the matter, the enforceability of surrogacy contracts. There are those who argue that these contracts should be fully enforceable, just like any other agreement. They contend that the surrogate, having entered into the contract willingly, should not be allowed to back out at the 11th hour. This argument is rooted in the principle of pacta sunt servanda, which means agreements must be kept. On the other hand, some believe that the best interests of the child should always be the primary consideration. They argue that if the surrogate develops a strong bond with the child, forcing her to give up the baby could cause emotional trauma to both the surrogate and the child. This perspective is grounded in the principle of the child's welfare being paramount. Let's consider a hypothetical case. Suppose a surrogate, halfway through her pregnancy, decides she wants to keep the child. Should the law step in and enforce the contract, or should it prioritize the emotional well-being of the surrogate and the child? The answers to these questions are far from clear-cut. They depend on a myriad of factors, including the specific circumstances of each case and the ethical, moral, and legal considerations involved. The debate on the enforceability of surrogacy contracts is still ongoing, with no clear consensus in sight. So, what have we learned from this deep dive into the world of surrogacy and its legal implications? Surrogacy at its core is a modern miracle that provides a pathway to parenthood for those who might not otherwise have the opportunity. Yet, it also presents a legal minefield full of dilemmas and debates. We've explored how surrogacy can stir up complex issues around parental rights, the autonomy of the surrogate, and the best interests of the child. We've delved into the ongoing dispute over the enforceability of surrogacy contracts. Some argue that these contracts should be legally binding to protect all parties involved. Others contend that such enforceability could lead to exploitation or coercion of surrogates. It's clear that there's a pressing need for more defined legal guidelines and thoughtful discussion. Surrogacy isn't a simple matter of black and white, but rather a kaleidoscope of greys. From miracle births to legal battles, surrogacy indeed opens up a Pandora's box of ethical and legal questions.